What's up you guys, Zoe here from OneGlanceTrader.com and in this week's video I'm really excited to be sharing with you my top 6 TradingView indicators. Now TradingView is probably one of the best charting platforms out there and the best thing about it in my opinion is that it's absolutely free. Yes, the uh, free version is quite limited in terms of its features and I strongly recommend that, you know, if you're serious about trading, whether it is currency pairs, stocks or commodities, to upgrade to the um, uh, to one of their monthly plans. They've got a Black Friday sale on at the moment where you think you can get up to 60% off uh, kind of their pay plan. So if you're interested, check that one out. Uh, the links are inside the description. But what I wanted to do was go through uh, my personal top six um, indicators that I use as part of my charting analysis. And you guys who are familiar with my channel will know that I've already created some of my MT4 indicators, which again are absolutely free. Links are inside the description. Um, based off uh, some of these uh, trading view indicators. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, the six indicators uh, now. Um, and again, this is going to be outside of your standard RSI, your standard MACD. Um, it's going to be something that doesn't either come standard as part of MT4 or has been custom built by some of the traders uh, and coders that are part of the uh, trading view community. So the first one, and again, this is in no particular order. I use all of them. One is not better than the other, and it all depends on what your kind of trading style is to which one of these indicators you, you wish to deploy. But the first one uh, that I've got on my screen now is Rob Booker's Knoxville Divergence. So Rob Booker is a very known popular trader. I guess the majority of the people that are watching this video have heard of Rob Booker before. Um, he has a number of indicators um, that for MT4 and also for TradingView as well. And out of the six of them, two of them uh, are, are Rob Booker's um, indicators. So this first one is his classic Knoxville divergence. So it is a divergence indicator. A lot of people have requested me to build an MT4 uh, divergence indicator. I am still trying. Um, however, I've found nothing that I'm really, really happy with currently at this point in time. And um, I use the standard ones that you can find on the internet or I use uh, Rob Booker's Knoxville Divergence, which you can also get on MT4, by the way, if you Google it, um, it is free. So you can find it somewhere online. So it, it's probably one of the better ones out there that, that I've looked at, but with all uh, divergence indicators, they are quite laggy. They are quite late for when the divergence forms, the your entry or your move is kind of probably in. So I'll show you how I kind of use divergence and how I kind of trade it. I've got a playlist uh, with everything to do with divergence. You can check that one out. Uh, link is in the description or in the top right hand corner. So the default settings that Rob Bocca uses for this indicator is the RSI and momentum. 21 and 20 again you can change this to whatever you feel like um, but i don't normally change it and again you can change the style and the color and the output and what it does is that it will draw uh, lines of where you've got regular bullish divergence and regular bearish divergence so on my screen now you can see that we've got two points here where price is making higher highs and the rsi and the momentum indicator are making lower highs and once the lower high has been confirmed on the oscillator, it will then draw this uh, line for you to signify that. So in this particular example, again, you can go back. I don't know how long it's going to be until I actually find another one. You see another one there. And, and as with all indicators, not one indicator is going to make you, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars, dollars a month then. As you guys know, I like to work on a confluence strategy of utilizing, uh, in this example, um, bearish divergence as part of an overall kind of trading strategy and looking at other different factors. And again, these indicators that I talk about, you can combine them all into one and, um, and then uh, utilize that as part of a trading strategy. But ways that you would traditionally use this uh, would be is a classic trend line break. So again, it's painted. Um, divergence what you've got here is you've then got your first point two three four points and then when price breaks out 
Uh, ideally, in this scenario, you're looking for kind of a pullback to this area here. But um, again, then you've got a nice move down that you can potentially capitalize before price starts to go up here. So in this particular example, as you can see, we've not got a bearish divergence, but I expect to see as price goes on uh, to get some bearish divergence. And I'll be using this example, this uh, GBP USD 30 minute chart example for the rest of the indicators. Uh, so you can, guys can be consistent in terms of the indicators that I'm showing. But in this example, there's uh, Knoxville divergence there. So that's the first indicator that I wanted to uh, kind of walk you guys through. The second one is the pivot point standard indicator. And again, I'll show, I'll give you the names of all these indicators and how they appear in TradingView in the, inside the description so you guys can go and search for them. And the way you search for indicators is uh, just by searching for it inside here. And as you can see, I've got most of them saved there. So it's called pivot point standard. So as the name suggests, it is a classic pivot point sta uh, standard indicator. Um, I built my OGT pivot points indicator off the back of this particular indicator. So if you guys want to check that one out, the, the links are inside the description. Um, and what you can do with this is you can select the type of pivot that you want. So my indicator that I built only has the traditional uh, method um, um, computed, if that's the right word, um, built into the indicator. But again, there are so many other different ones. <clears throat> I don't use any of these, but you can do if you want to look at Fibonacci pivot points as an example. You can select um, daily, weekly, monthly or yearly pivots, and you can look at the drawback period of how many pivots to go in. Then in the style, you can select the pivot point and all your support and resistance levels there, and you can change the colors and all that kind of good stuff. So I've got um, a playlist that walks you guys through three, four different uh, pivot point strategies. And again, I'll link to that in below and in the top right corner if you want to utilize TradingView and also my strategies uh, as part of a uh, as part of an all-in-one kind of trading strategy. So I strongly suggest that you that you look at that one. And again, it as most of the time your pivot is normally hit. Today's pivot is way way missed, um, and that leads into a perfect segue into the next um, indicator. So indicator number three. So indicator number three is another Rob Booker indicator, and it's called the missed pivots indicator and again I think it's called yeah Rob Booker missed pivot points it's called and what this indicator does is that it shows you uh, current and historic missed pivot points so for those of you who have watched my video on the missed pivot rollover strategy link is in the top right corner and in the description if you want to check that one out um, this will be a perfect uh, indicator to put in there. I am looking to create a missed pivots um, indicator for MT4, whether that's a new indicator or encompass it into the uh, current pivot points indicator that I've got. So that's still work in progress. But for now, what you can do, you can come on to TradingView and have a look at um, missed pivot points. So the way it works here is if you go to the input settings, it looks to um, show you um, 30 or you know how many missed pivots you want to look at in the last x period so for example in the last 30 days you can also show the touch periods as well but you don't really see the point of that one if you're looking for a missed pivots indicator and then you can select whether you want daily monthly or weekly pivots so if i've selected all of them in the last 30 days we've had two daily missed pivots and this missed pivot here is today's missed pivot as we saw uh, uh, over over here so as you can see, that is drawing this because the pivot has not currently been hit. And then you've got uh, another pivot from last week, which going back to the other indicator, looks like it was this pivot here. And when you zoom in slightly, it looks like it wasn't touched. So we've got two missed pivots here. And then the green uh, was the weekly pivot. So again, this is today, this week's pivot, because we are, I'm shooting this video on a Monday. Um, as you can see, it's been hit. And you can see prices ran all the way over there. Again, I've got a number of strategies on this and what I, what I would personally do on this kind of thing is, is kind of draw this kind of trend line over here and then I'll be watching this pair um, for when price breaks underneath the trend line. 
with a take profit target around uh, the the miss pivot of the day, assuming that it doesn't fall back within this day, or also the weak pivot as well. So again, that's how you can kind of use um, miss pivots as potential profit targets, and not to rush into a trade. Let the trade come to you, and you can use alerts and all that kind of good stuff with Trading View. And what I'll probably do is. Uh, set up some of these charts uh, in trading view and share them with you guys so you guys can just you know just drop and drop and plug in the, these templates so that's something to kind of really look forward to there so that's the uh, that's the third one the fourth one is something I've not talked about on this channel um, and if it's something that you know you guys are want to learn more about because uh, I've started to use it quite a bit now for support and resistance is uh, volume profile and volume profile it, I believe is a premium indicator so you have to be on one of the packages because uh, I don't think you'll be able to see this volume profile section so the way you find that is you go to volume profile and again you've got fixed session volume um, and then you've also got a visible range so what I've got on now is the visible range which is denoted by volume profile visible range VPVR and as I move across you can see that the uh, the volume profile changes so if we look at the current price action at the moment what this is showing is this is showing what the total volume is uh, at a at individual price levels and this is denoted by the uh, histogram um, and the histogram basically shows um, blue and yellow and I believe you can change these um, but blue is effectively and you can see it over here when you when you when you hover over it that um, is the number of buyers at that level and then the yellow is the number of sellers at the, at that level and then the 10.774 is just the total of, of the two together and what you'll see is is this red line which is known as the poc point of control and what that shows is is the highest traded volume price level for the period or range that you're looking at. So I'm looking at the range basically from this bar all the way to current price action that the most volume was traded at 1.3 to 843. So why is this important and how can you potentially use it? And again, I don't want to go into a lot of the details now. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below is that you would utilize this um, so so anything inside the darker darker uh, area is what's considered as fair value and is where price naturally should be so think of it like a moving average when price gets overextended uh, out from its moving average price wants to go back into its uh, kind of mean reverting properties to its moving average and this is kind of where price wants to eventually get back to and that fair value will move as, as time goes on depending on what, on what happens to the charts and what you're looking to do one of the best ways of kind of looking at this is that if you're looking to go long on this on this particular one firstly I would actually move it closer to as, as you can to current price action as you can see here now the POC has changed to this level here and so saying that this level here 1.33615 is where the most volume has been traded so if you're looking to get into this trade uh, to potentially go long what you really want to happen now is is for price to eventually come back um, and bounce off this particular uh, bounce off this particular level that's what you that's what you're looking to happen um, and what we're going to do now is we're actually going to jump into number five uh, uh, indicators which is um, a round numbers indicator and as you guys know that I'm a big fan of round numbers um, and it's called the round numbers above and below and and what this basically just to show you what this indicator actually does is it shows you the round number levels at the um, uh, at the you know the zero zero and the 500 level kind of marks and then you can have a look at lines above and below so if we want to look at the five above and below current price action it will draw that for you and what's interesting here is what you have here is again talking about confluence you've got the point of control at this level here and then you've also got um, this round number level over here so this level over here is where is where a lot of volume has been traded and if we have a look at that volume um, 
it's kind of the same. There's probably there's more sellers than there is buyers. However, things could change over time. And this is a level of particular interest. So, you know, what you can do here, you can set an alert just around that level, add an alert and click create. And therefore now we have an alert. So when price triggers this level here, I can jump back on the charts and have a look to see what's going on and look at my other indicators and other discretionary trade knowledge to see if we can have a look at to uh, continue this kind of move up. So that's one example. There's a number of ways of how you can use the volume profile, um, but that is one example that you know I wanted to share with you guys that I think is really powerful. And the last one, again, is something I don't talk at all on my channel, I don't believe, is uh, Heikonashi, um, uh, is, is Heikonashi candles. So in this particular indicator, <clears throat> it's called Heikonashi smooth buy and sell. And basically what it does, well, firstly, if you guys aren't familiar with Heikonashi candles, Heikonashi candles are similar to traditional candlestick charts, but instead of looking at closed prices, it looks at average prices. And you can actually show a candlestick chart if you go to candles and change this to Heikonashi. And what you can do is it kind of, because it takes average price, it kind of gives you a smoother view of price action. So you can kind of, easily identify um, you know trends and all that kind of good stuff and a lot of people use it as a trend following strategy of when you see lots of green and then when it changes to red they either take profits or close out their position and what the Heikonashi smooth buy and sell indicator does is it utilizes a a moving average so I'm just going to change this back to candles um, right, moving average and um, settings so you can set the EMA length and again I'll just set it to 100 and it kind of smooths out the candles and gives you a kind of view so again if you wanted to if we just go back a bit if you wanted so if you wanted to kind of sell over here because it starts to go red again you'll be in this trade until it starts to turn green which is around this area here which you can't really see because of that uh, but around this area here and again, you can capture some big moves in this. And I wouldn't use this as the only indicator, as in you you buy here and you'll still be in this trade here, which is great. Um, but I will start using this in, um, in different ways. So if we go back to where we are currently in current price action, for example, is we've noted that this area is a point of interest for us. Um, what you can do is, is when price starts to get to this level and then we start to see the, uh, the ribbon um, or the av or the line start turning green again, that might be your entry sig signal to get back into this trade, to get into a long trade. So again, that's how you can start using these different indicators together as a potential trading strategy. So I really hope that you've enjoyed my top six indicators. Again, check out TradingView, link, it, link is below. I'll put together uh, the names of all these indicators. And again, if you guys want, want me to check out some of your indicators that you guys use on TradingView, please leave them in the comment below. And what I'll do now is I'll put up some trading strategies that you guys can check out and start to utilize uh, with, um, with TradingView. And a lot of this already encompass the indicators that I'm showing now. So really hope you've enjoyed this video. Check, check out the thumbnail, check out TradingView, and I shall see you guys in the next video.